Hey, it's Patrick from JMP Cycles, and we're gonna teach you how to tune your bike with a Fuel Pack Pro. But today, we're gonna talk about why you would want that, how to put it on your bike, and the details on how to use the auto-tune feature with the wide bands, and what to do with all that information and that fancy tune when you're done. All right, so let's talk a little bit about why you would choose a Fuel Pack Pro versus a standard Fuel Pack. Well, a couple of reasons. One, there are some limitations to the Fuel Pack based on using your stock O2 sensors. Stock sensors just aren't that good, to be quite frank with you. And the Fuel Pack Pro comes with wideband Bosch sensors to make it so you can get those highly detailed tunes in those modified engines. So what I mean by modified is if you have something more than an exhaust and an air cleaner, so you're step, stepping up to a cam, a big bore, something like that, it's gonna give you a more detailed tune and a more wide ranging tune. It lets you tune all the way through the complete RPM range at all the throttle positions in a true wideband closed loop tune. Basically, the ability to run closed loop is determined by how good your sensors are. Another reason is if you have a shop or if you have multiple bikes or if you tune your buddy's bikes all the time, the Fuel Pack Pro can be used on multiple bikes. Now those bikes also have to have the corresponding FP3 to go with them, but the Pro unit can be taken from bike to bike. The only caveat being is whatever bike you're using, whatever exhaust you're using, you're gonna have to have those 18 millimeter bungs in the exhaust to be able to put the wideband sensors in there. So if you have a stock exhaust, this probably isn't gonna be for you because you have the wrong size bung in there. First thing you have to do is take your narrow bands out and probably the little bushing that goes with it and put the wide bands that come with the kit in there. And the sensors don't really matter when you put them in the exhaust. There is no front and rear as far as that is concerned. They already come with a little bit of anti-seize on them. You don't need to grill arm them down. Just get them nice and snug. Then route your wires in a way that they're not gonna get tangled up or burnt by anything over to the left-hand side of the bike. And then we'll start plugging things in. So the data port where you would normally plug in your FP3, that's where the Fuel Pack Pro is gonna get plugged into. And then the corresponding plug off of that will get you the plug where you put your actual FP3. There's a short wire coming off of the Fuel Pack Pro that plugs into the rear O2 sensor you just installed in your exhaust. The long wire goes to the front O2 sensor. You probably can't mess that up because they probably won't reach, but just for reference, the short one is for the rear, the long one is for the front. And then you're gonna have some slack left there, and I like just to zip tie that to the frame on the bike. So now we're on to actually tuning the bike, or in our case, that's going to involve riding it. Once we have the app opened up into the auto-tune feature, then we're going to pick our air fuel ratio. In our case, we're gonna go with 13 to one. Now, this is where it completely gets up to you and how you want the bike tuned. A bigger number is actually going to be leaner or less fuel. I do not recommend going past 14 to one. A smaller number is going to be richer or fatter. We're gonna leave ours at 13 to one. Next, we're going to basically pick our sample size. If we were using the regular fuel pack, narrow band sensors, we'd probably pick something like a two or something like that. But since we have these wide band sensors, it can move a lot more data and we can move it quickly. We're gonna set our sample range at eight. Now we're set up there, we need to go ride the bike. So you need to put your phone somewhere on your bike. I'm gonna use a tank bag with a clear case so you can see the phone. What you're gonna need to see that for is to see what throttle position you're at. Cause you want this thing to sweep through all the RPM ranges at different throttle positions. And this is our RPM by throttle position across the top. So when you ride the motorcycle, you're gonna wanna hold it at these throttle positions. So we're gonna start off with the small throttle positions. Find yourself a nice stretch of road where you can hold it like at 2% throttle. That's why it's important to see the phone. You're gonna need to see it sitting at 2% as it works its way through the RPM range. Move up to 5%. So you're gonna start at a low RPM, roll into it at five and let it work its way up. And eventually at 5% throttle, it'll stop pulling. Keep going all the way on up the RPM race. Pretty soon you're gonna be out there just starting at a certain RPM and ripping it to 100. And obviously those samples are gonna come a lot quicker than just at 5% throttle. When you're done with that, you're gonna have your sample set for the front cylinder 
and the rear cylinder. And you can see those on the auto-tune preview screens. And they're gonna be different. Don't be freaked out by that. That's perfectly fine. What we're looking for is those cells to be green. If they're green, that means we're close to our target. And the numbers inside those cells will be smaller. If they're blue, that means it's been taking away fuel to try to get it closer to that number. So if it's taking away fuel, that was a rich area, it's pulling fuel out, trying to regulate that. If it's red, that means it's been adding fuel in there, trying to move it to that 13 to one number. Now, it's eventually going to max out at like 11 in that cell. You shouldn't see a number bigger than that. And the reason it maxes out there is so you can't make a bunch of wholesale changes and chase a bad tune. So you have an intake leak or something like that, it won't allow it to make these big, massive wholesale changes. So let's say we have some green, which you're probably gonna have. You're gonna have a little bit of red and a little bit of blue. That's not quite perfect yet. So you have a couple of options at the end of your auto-tune session. You can apply it or you can finish it. And after that first ride, we just wanna apply it. We're gonna go back, we're gonna do the whole scenario again, we're gonna go ride it some more, put it in those ranges. And if you can remember where those ranges were, where you had the blue and the red, go ride in those ranges because the green is pretty close. Once you have turned your map on both cylinders green, you're on targets everywhere, and that's when you're going to finish the tune. Okay, so now we have tuned the bike. Wide band, closed loop, which is basically the best tune you're gonna get. In the past, you would have had to go into a speed shop, put it on a dyno, paid a lot of money to get this type of tune. We've done it on the street, but we're not done quite yet. When you get your Fuel Pack Pro, you need to take that email address that's in there and set up your cloud-based server with Vance and Heinz. And the reason that's important, you can store your tunes in there and even edit them later on. You can build up your own little map library and the guys over at Vance and Heinz, you need some technical help, they'll have access to them where they can then help you tweak them a little bit. But where it can come in really handy is if you're gonna tune a buddy's bike, another bike of yours, so you get, get rid of your bike, buy a new one, you can use those base maps in there as starting points for future custom maps. So you have another bike that's got a little bit different exhaust, a little bit different intake, but the same cam you used before on the same style of motor, well then that's a good base map to start because you're gonna be much, much closer to the tune you want than just starting from scratch. It'll speed up your tuning time significantly. So make sure you go on, log in there, set up that cloud-based server account with the boys at Vance and Heinz. As always, have any questions, feel free to drop us a comment. Go work on those motorcycles.